The purpose of this video presentation is to determine the percentage of sodium oxide that may exist in used new cell by the use of a new cell test kit sold by Heat Bath Corporation. The equipment used in this video is supplied in the new cell test kit. Heat Bath believes percentages of sodium oxide greater than 0 .005 in used new cell may lead to decarburization of material being heat treated. By the use of the test kit, we can find out if the salt needs rectification in order to prevent decarburization. To begin with, let's talk about collecting a sample from the new cell bath. You will find in the test kit an 18-inch stainless steel rod. While making sure the rod is clean and dry, immerse the rod into the working salt and quickly remove it. The molten salt will adhere to the rod and quickly freeze on it once removed. As the salt cools, it will begin to flake off the rod. If the salt doesn't fall off the rod in a few minutes, lightly tap it on a hard surface and the salt will fall off. After the salt has cooled enough to handle, transfer it immediately to a Ziploc bag for storage purposes. The minimum amount of sample needed for one test is 6 grams. I would advise to collect more than 6 grams in case the test is not performed correctly for the first time or needs to be run more than once to verify test results. Transfer the salt from the Ziploc bag into the mortar and pestle. Crush the salt into finer particles that will make it easier to go into solution. With the use of the scale, weigh out 6 grams of the salt. Write down the amount of salt to the tenth of a gram. Next, transfer the salt into the 100 ml beaker. Add approximately 80 ml of DI water. DI water must be used in this titration, but it is not supplied with the test kit. With the use of the steering rod, agitate the sample until all the salt is in solution. The salt must be entirely in solution before it is the solution is titrated. Next, fill up the reservoir of the titration kit with the supplied 0.01 normal HCl. Fill the self-zeroing burette by squeezing the reservoir. Next, clear out any trapped air that may be in the barrette. And once again, re-zero the barrette with the hydrochloric acid. When our salt is in solution, add two drops of phenolphthalein. Upon addition of the phenolphthalein, if the color of the solution remains colorless, sodium oxide is not present, and your bath does not need rectification. If the color turns pink, sodium oxide is present, and the titration must be performed. Place the beaker under the barrette and slowly add the 0 0.01 normal hydrochloric acid drop by drop until the solution becomes colorless. Once the solution becomes colorless, the titration is now complete and no more acid needs to be added. 
Reference page 2 in the test kit for determining alkalinity in New South Test Method provided with the kit to find the equation needed to calculate the percent sodium oxide. As noted earlier, if the calculated percent sodium oxide value of your sample is 0.005 or less, rectification of the bath is not needed. If the value is higher than 0.005, rectification is recommended.